the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Denmark. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be here today together with so many countries who are committed to the huge t effort to reduce the suffering of refugees. It is high time for joint international action. Denmark takes global responsibility. We spend 0.7% of our national income on development aid. Denmark is consistently among the top five humanitarian donors per capita. Countries hosting large refugee populations must be supported in a predictable manner with serious resources and for as long as it takes. It is my firm belief that it's better to help refugees close to their homes so they're not forced to take up the long and often dangerous journeys. At the same time, we must ease the burden on local communities and reduce dependency on humanitarian assistance. We must do so by enhancing the possibilities for refugees to contribute to local growth and de development where they live. Men and women often bring knowledge and skills. Let's give them a chance to use them, to contribute, to take part of life of cities and local communities hosting them. And let us make sure that their children do not be get left behind. Let's educate them and give them a future. We need to give back hope to people wherever they are. Firstly, we must provide the resources. For 2016 and 2017, Denmark intends to increase our humanitarian assistance to a record level of 350 million US dollars annually. As part of this, my government plans to provide a specific grant of 50 million US dollars to the effort of the World Bank in assisting refugee hosting countries. Secondly, we must ensure that development assistance link up with humanitarian efforts to create job, health care and education in fragile situations. People need opportunity, not just short-term humanitarian assistance for long-term needs. We intend to support the new Education Cannot Wait initiative and through the UNHCR Education Appeal. We call on other countries to do the same. Thirdly, we must build new partnerships. This is what we aim to achieve through the Solution Alliance. Affected governments, donors, UN, the private sector, civil society organizations, and multilateral development banks together must break new ground in the search for solutions to displacement. Finally, we must address the root causes of forced displacement through peacebuilding efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for all of us to join forces, to take global responsibility, to leave no one behind. Thank you.